I usually don't do this, but as a black man, I feel like I needed to get this off my chest. And I thought it would only be right to use my platform as an inspiring black content creator to speak about how I feel about this crazy situation we're in. That's not so crazy. First and foremost, let me shout out to my loved ones, my friends, my family, my wife for holding me down. I don't know where I'd be without you guys right now. And then I also want to shout out the content creators like Daquan, Long Beach Griffey, Charlemagne the God, 85 South Show, Andrew Shows, and the JBP for not only being entertaining but also being true to their word. A few weeks ago, I was talking about COVID-19 and I said on my Facebook, America's freedom has always been an illusion. Sucks that this pandemic has been politicized. They say when it gets bad, we as people will come together. But all I see through the news and internet is more and more division. I love you all. I'm here for you. We can be dumb together. Of course, some people disagree with me with what I said, which I wasn't mad at. I've always tried to look at both sides. But that post was about what I saw. But again, I still understood. And most people can only speak to what they see, have seen, or been through. But this post was also made two days prior to George Floyd's death. Like, it's almost like I seen it coming. Like I knew something was going to happen. That being said, to this day, I still haven't watched the video. Not the whole video. I can't. I have been depressed, I have been distraught, and I have been angry, and I have still not gotten over how we handled this global pandemic as a whole. And I am afraid if I were to watch another innocent man get murdered on camera, I will lose myself. I don't know why this one hit like it did, but this one hit, and we all felt it. People are protesting. And for some reason, people are asking why. And I don't understand why these people are asking why. You guys should have seen this coming. And I don't understand when, to those who don't understand, why they have to force their ideas and opinions on something they know nothing about. When I said we can be dumb together, that was because in this day and age, information flies through our hands so fast, and it's hard to discern what the truth is. And I also feel like it is easy to fall in a trap and not know what's going on. Our little box is designed to keep us in our small little worlds. However, this time you have no excuse. We aren't just getting killed. This isn't new. We have been getting killed. They are shooting us with rubber bullets on our own property. They're pushing over the elderly. And these crooked cops are exposing just how blurred the lines of freedom really are. And I just feel like we can't ignore it anymore. I want to thank the police who agree with us and see that we can't ignore police brutality anymore and they're protesting and marching with us and i also want to thank the people who have been doing this for a long time like my song ti killer mike j cole colin kaepernick all of you guys and there's so much more that and i just just know that you guys have really touched a lot of people and i think we're gonna i think it's just going to grow from here. Um, let's let everyone know that this change is a necessity. And it's, it's not a want. And we need that change now. Please, guys, if you're protesting, be safe. Wear a mask and get tested if you can after protesting, being around all those people. I'm, honestly, I'm not sure what to think with COVID-19 right now um 
as of right now, it kind of feels like it's a little live, but people are dying from it apparently. So you guys just be safe and be tested. And sucks we had to do this at this time, but I get it. And don't let these people tell you how to feel. That's all I gotta say. Eclipse. I'm out. Deuces. Hit me up in the comments if y'all wanna say y'all peace or whatever. And if you don't like this, feel free to unsubscribe. I'm out here. Deuces.